So why is it coming back? It's, why do you think they're doing it? It's coming back because ITV, who have brought it, brought it back, bought the rights to it. They've done so well this year with, with Love Island and they're wanting to cash in, shall we say, on that young viewer market in terms of obviously the advertising figures that's going to bring them. And there seems to be an appetite for it. And is it going to be normal people? It's not going to be celebrities. Well, I hope it's going to be normal people. This is what's got everyone up in arms, you see, because people are saying if they're bringing it back, which they are, so they are bringing it back, um, it really needs to be the normal people, what we saw in the first, you know, two or three series. I know, people keep you were were yeah. you a normal person? I was normal then, I'm not anymore. <laughs> <laughs> but, you know, they, used, they keep saying we want normal people. We were the normal people. However, we were criticised so much. We were thrown to the lions. It was, you know, and, and now when they say we want normal people, well, you didn't show us love then, and I'm in the public. Why are you showing us love now? Why do you want normal? And I think people do love to watch... Um, it's, I don't know, you watch it and you want to, you relate to it and, and you want to criticise that person. There's a lot of class in it. I think they look at it, oh, look at them arguing, oh, look at that person and look at this person, she did this wrong and he did that wrong. People are fascinated with reality. But it's TV. such a petri dish of, well, the wild, the strange, the weird, intelligence, there's all sorts of So they audition for that. So when you audition, when we, people will always ask you, how did you get on? It's a big question. And it is like six months of auditioning. And I Six months? I'm I so, did. It went down to about six Blimey. months. I about admitted. one a month. Oh, yeah. But then when you go there, I remember my first. And I remember coming home saying, I'll never get on. I argued with everyone. And that's precisely why I got <laughs> that's on. What they wanted. Because I argued with everyone. So <laughs> if they do choose the weird and the this and the argue, you've got to be a bit on hinge. Yeah. Back, I can actually relate to that, what um, Narinda was saying about the audition process. Because many, many years ago, when I was a cub journalist starting out, I was sent undercover to try and get on Big Brother as, as an ordinary person. Oh, did person. you do that? How amazing. Yes. And I remember going through the producers and I knew that what they were looking for was someone who was going to be loud, in your face, controversial. A and I, a bit obnoxious. A little bit obnoxious. <laughs> hey, do you her. Do. Sorry. <laughs> Diva. <laughs> Diva. Um, so needless to say, I got through like the first few rounds and then I got called back, which to my shock horror, because I had no intention of going on. So I was like, oh no, this is awful. Um, but I remember being called back the next day and then put in a circle with other people from the day before. And then it was whittled down. Then That's they asked exactly what happens. That's to exactly. do a one-to-one. -one. Um, and then I had to meet with a producer. And at that point, I thought, I'm going to have to come clean because it was yeah. getting yeah, further along the process. And so I had to say, look, um, I am just, just, no, I would never. It's just not for me.